Good morning, my name is John, that's Amber, and this is the Homestead Diary. Uh, Amber was just commenting on the fact that there are so many frogs in this garden. So it's right there, it's black, but it's like a little toad, baby toad, or maybe that's the size of it. Do you see it? I mean, it blends yep. in so well. But they're everywhere. Every time I move, they're it's that, like they're hiding underneath rocks, they're hiding in the grass. They just love this environment and they're everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fascinating. Uh, they say that uh, amphibians are a sign that you have a, a healthy ecosystem. And we're certainly creating one here. And uh, one of the things that I think is interesting is, is I've, I've read some comments, uh, not, on, uh, not on our YouTube channel, but on other people's YouTube channels and uh, in some of the forums about people saying that their soil is hydrophobic. And of course, that means uh, it tends to shed water rather than absorb water. And um, we're, we actually are seeing the opposite here, and it probably has to do with our soil amendments. Um, we uh, here up on, it's not really a mountaintop, but the top of a hill, have relatively poor soil uh, to start with. You know, only a couple of inches thick and lots of rocks and whatnot. And so we've done tons of soil am amendments, literally. Uh, we've brought in tons of sawdust from the Amish sawmills, and we, we've probably used 20 bales of, of wheat straw in here and really built up the organic matter in, in addition to the biochar and, and uh, starting out with layering of cardboard and whatnot. And so we're ending up with what seems to be very rich soil. Um, it's, the garden isn't growing as well as, as some other people's that we've seen, but it's growing really well considering that this is a first year garden. And uh, here you can actually see a, an example of a, Amber talked in another video about the, the wheat that's sprouting up. This, this is wheat straw. And we're learning that because of what is sprouting up. This looks like grass. And yes, technically wheat is a grass. I get that. But this is wheat grass. And whether we want to juice that because we want to do hippie stuff with it, or we want to wait until it grows up and, and has big golden, uh, you know, amber waves of grain, so to speak. Uh, either way, we win. And this is just a byproduct of, of what is going on here with everything that we're doing to the soil. And it, it's really fascinating because it's a learning experience learning experience for us, um, but at the same time, uh, it, it's an experience where we are growing more confidence in our ability to grow food. Because ultimately, th this isn't about uh, digging around in the dirt and posting videos on YouTube, because uh, who really cares about that if you're not eating? And so, this is all about finding a way to grow as much food as possible in as small a space as possible. With as little and, money. Like, cause we can't afford the bags of soil that people are buying. And we found out right from the very beginning, one of our vi very first videos, was that the bag was full of clay and rocks. And it was not as good as even the soil that we could dig up from our own ground. No. And so we started going into the woods and finding, you know, rotten no. logs. And then we just started finding this Amish, you know, mill that was free. And you know, just basically, you know, yeah. working with what you have when you have no money or very little, a five-dollar bale of straw is amazing. And now we get now we get wheat out of it as a as a byproduct. Yeah. It's just awesome. God provides if you're paying attention. Yep, accidental food, such a blessing. Whoa! Y'all have a blessed day.